<laughs> Morning guys, Mark with Red Star Loft. It is cold, cold today. It's about 7.30 in the morning. And the temperature is, yeah, just over 40 degrees. It is a cold, cold October morning. And here's my guys, or should I say gals. I have, uh, Jesus Christ, sorry. I've separated my birds the other day. So this is my hen side for the most part, though I can still see there's potentially a few cocks over on this side, like maybe him. I separated what I knew for a fact, you know, we're, we're hens and we're cocks, but there were still a few younger birds here, so it's possible that uh, some of them are cocks, I just don't know it yet, but the pairs that I had, I separated for sure. So, you can see that the hens are all here. And as you can see, I've uh, covered this up at least a little bit. It's not perfect, but still have to tighten it up. But I've put up that divider just so they're not able to... Uh, it's actually much more see-through in the video than in real life, but you can kind of just see the silhouettes. Just something so that they're not able to actually see each other and peck at each other, and especially when young birds come, you know, easier to wean them. If the adults can feed them through these big holes here, so... Just threw up something, we'll see if this fails, because this is long fabric. That weed protector that you put on your yard, that's what that is. If that fails, I'm just going to put up a tarp, but this was what I what I had at home and I didn't feel like going to the store to buy a tarp. So if that fails, I'll be putting up uh, a tarp. But that's the hens. As you can see. They're doing real well. Everybody's getting along. My new birds and my old birds. Adrian's birds seem to have acclimated. Acclimated well. There was no no issues of any sorts. No fighting. No uh, nobody was sick. Nobody made anybody else sick. Let's see. Looks like he's a cockbird as well. So yeah. Now, basically, for the next couple of weeks, or however long it takes, I just have to keep an eye. Pardon me. I just have to keep an eye on this side, because, like I said, there's definitely a couple, two or three cockbirds still left in here. I just haven't been able to spot them yet, so... As soon as I spot them, I'll take them, and I will, uh... Get them over to the other side, but let's take a look at the cock side. This is a smaller side. See, they're hoping they're gonna eat, but they still have corn left, so until that's gone. Until that's gone, there's not gonna be any eating. Isn't he beautiful? I love this guy. Such a strong, mean looking bird. Now you can see it from their from their point of view. It's something. So yeah, another couple of months, less than that. They're gonna be getting paired up, so. So it was, uh, it was actually well overdue separating them. That was on uh, Adrian's suggestion. So as soon as I uh, got back in town, I went ahead and separated them. Still molting here.
yeah, don't really have a whole lot to say, to be honest. Just, uh, <laughs> just wanted to come back in here and, uh, show you guys the birds again. And, uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of a difference this time around. They are split up. I've actually talked to the secretary at the, uh, at the club that I was, that I'm going to race at. Talked to him for about an hour last night. He uh, called me up and like, thought we were just going to chat for maybe 5-10 minutes, but talked for a full hour. He's, uh, he's a veterinarian, so he has a lot of, as you would imagine, he has a lot of uh, knowledge and a lot of tips when it comes to the health of the birds. So yeah, I got more details on just the, the races, the distances, the direction, you know, who's going to be racing, what kind of a clock they're using. So I'm, uh, yeah, I still have to, you know, go and meet up with the guys over there and all that, but I'm basically good to go, good to go for next year. So excited about that. And he even told me about another club that does old bird races, so I'll see. I'll see, maybe uh, maybe I'll consider old birds too, but probably not for a while. Not for the first couple of years. Until then, I just want to try my uh, try my hand in young birds, so we'll see how it goes. But a lot of good looking birds in here. And uh, not just not just the looks, but a lot of them also have have the performance and have shown that performance. So, in my eyes, there's nothing better than a beautiful, competent pigeon. So, it seems like it seems like I've got more than a few of those in here. So, look at this! Look at this red corner. So we'll see, we'll see. Breeding season is right around the corner. We'll see what it brings. I've got my pairs. I had definitely have extra birds. I'll see exactly what and how I play that out. But I have just about all, all 12 of my pairs picked out and ready to go. So now we're just waiting for the for the right time, but They've been paired up, so at least on paper. So now we just gotta wait a little bit, wait for the right time, and uh, and do that. But tosses are done for this year, mainly because I uh, needed to separate the cocks and the hens, and I cannot. I don't have a third loft <clears throat> or a third part to my loft. One thing that I've considered was extending the loft this spring, extending it to this side. This is another five feet where this fence ends. So I can extend it another five feet this way. And that would leave the dog with this last five feet, which he doesn't really need more because the only time he's in this house is at night when he sleeps. So. But I had to separate the birds and, uh, you know, I had nowhere else to put them and there's some untested birds here. I've got those seven or eight, seven or eight birds that have uh, only loft flown a couple times, haven't done any real distance. So it's a uh, bit of a shame, but. It shouldn't be an issue. My dad's going to be taking some birds off of me come springtime as well. So he'll be able to do his own thing, test them out, breed them his way. So should, uh, should all work out in the end either way. But yeah, definitely come springtime. The aviary is going to be going here. On this side and then potentially on the other side is going to be another five foot 
loft extension. So, okay, guys, I think I've about said all I had to say and then some. So, uh, until next time, you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.